Hey, it's me again, making another Blender video, and this time I'm going to show you how to apply multiple materials uh, and image textures to a single object in Blender. And we're going to do that just by applying specific materials to specific faces of objects. So in the last video, I applied the, the stone texture and then used the UV editing to map that texture to the walls of the castle. Uh, since then, I've come back in and added a stone texture, whoops, meant to pan, not orbit, stone texture to the top of this tower. And you can see, if I zoom in here, that it looks good from the top down, but the sides of everything look kind of bad. And that doesn't bother me because I'm going to turn all of these blocks here into uh, marble instead of stone. And I'm not even going to worry about the, the sides of the, the base here. Um, that would be something we would deal with later. But for now, we're going to turn all of the cornice blocks on top of this tower into marble. And what I am going to do, in fact, what I may have already done, is so I'm going to undo that is I'm going to select my tower top and I'm going to add a new material. When you add a new material you end up with a stack of two materials in your objects data and then you can make a new one, name it, yada yada. I'm going to select marble since I've already made it and next to base color you would click the dot, go load a marble image that you've already downloaded or prepared somewhere else and now the trick is to get it on those blocks because as you'll notice even though stone and marble are in here for this object I'm not seeing the marble and the way to do that is going to be in edit mode and there I am in edit mode and I need to select the faces that I plan to put this marble on Now I'd like to select them all at once because otherwise that's a lot of clicking so I'm gonna go to my front view zoom out a little bit and actually, do I still have two towers on? I do still have two towers. So this one's going to get in the way. So what I'm going to do is just turn all my other towers off for now. Just hide them. And focus on the one. So back to front view. And zoom in here. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. And I'm going to select those top cornice blocks. I went to wireframe mode so that I could get the blocks in the back too and not just the ones in the front. I'm going to go back into material preview mode. Zoom in here so we can see the effect. And I'm going to click on marble and then click assign. And now the marble object has been assigned, or the marble material has been assigned to those faces. Now if I zoom in even closer, we can see that uh, the marble pattern has been applied, but it looks better on the top surfaces than it does on the side and it looks a little big on the top surfaces. So I think I've got to scale the pattern and then I'm going to have to work with the individual faces um, to get it to look good on the sides too because the sides just look like streaks right now. So I am going to select all here, go back into um, UV editing into that workspace and before I start scaling and whatnot to try to get this pattern to look right. I want to see if I can get rid of those streaks. It might save me some work if I get rid of those streaks first. And the easiest way to do that is to try a few different ways of unwrapping. Um, now I'm dealing with a lot of cubes here, so I'm going to see what cube unwrap does for me. So I'm going to go to UV, I'm going to go down to cube projection, and you know what? That worked out pretty well. Okay, so I think from there I am just going to scale until I get a few more lines and cracks and crevices on my marble texture. And I think that looks pretty good. All the way around, we've got texture on the sides, texture on the tops. It worked. Um, now, interestingly enough, uh, when I unwrapped this object, it, it also, you know, it unwrapped all the different faces of the object, not just the blocks I was working with at the time. And that new unwrap changed the way the stone looks on the side, too. So I got a double bonus from that because um, this new unwrap worked better than uh, the previous one had, even for the sides of the stone wall here. 
Okay. <clears throat> I would like to do one more thing. I would like to make the center of this um, be made out of wood. So I've got some wood board textures downloaded. And all I'm going to do is select the object. Let's see. I wonder if I want to leave a border around the edge made of stone. I think I will, just to see what it looks like. Um, but all I'm going to do is come in and select this inner square here. And I'm just going to do it by using the circle select tool this time. And I'm just going to, I press C to activate that in case you didn't know how to do the circle select. And I'm going to right click to get out of circle select. And just take a look. Yeah, I got everything I want. It seems like it's centered. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to add yet another material. So I briefly have to go into object mode. And I have to, ooh, I, uh, hang on, let me change the size of that so I can see a little bit more here. I have to go back to my materials. And I have to add another material slot and a new material. And I might as well name this material while I'm right here. I'll just call it wood. I'm going to go get another image texture. Um, there it is. Open. And let me see. I've got wood on my desktop here somewhere. Ooh, actually, I've got a couple of them. I wonder which one that one was. I think the one I want is actually wood boards. Hang on. Let me go grab that one instead. Oh, of course. I got two of those, too. All right. Well, we'll take a gamble. We're going to go with that one. And uh, back into edit mode where those faces are still selected. And I am just going to assign. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. And now, depending on my taste preferences, maybe those boards are too small. Maybe they're just right. I'm going to try making them a little bit bigger. So over here on the left, I'm going to show wood boards. And with those faces still selected, I am just going to press S to start the scale command. And I'm going to shrink the faces, which is going to make the boards look bigger over here. And I think I like that right there. Back into object mode. Might as well go into rendered mode. So lights are playing a role. And there is the, the top of my castle. Um, so I've got the, the marble blocks now. And I've got the, the wood in the center. Even though this is all one object, I now have three materials applied to it. And UV mapped in a way that I like. And you can apply that technique to any object.